Hey guys, so we're gonna solve for x in this equation right here. To get rid of the square root, square both sides. This square root and the square cancel each other out, giving us just 10x plus one. This x plus one squared is the same thing as x plus one times x plus one. So we have to foil this out. x times x is x squared. x times one is one x. And then one times x is also one x. And then one times one gives us one. And this one x can combine with this one x to give us two x. So let's move all this stuff from the left side over to the right side. So we're gonna subtract 10x from both sides and then subtract one from both sides. So on the left-hand side, all this stuff cancels and we just have zero. On the right-hand side, we have x squared, 2x minus 10x is negative 8x, and then one plus negative one is nothing. In order to solve this, we need to factor. We have a common x in both of these terms, so I'm gonna factor an x out of this. x times what gives me x squared, that's x, and then x times what gives me negative 8x, that's negative eight. So from here, we have two things being multiplied to give us zero. That means either one of them is equal to zero. This x equals zero is already done, but for this x minus eight, let's get it out of the parentheses and then add eight to both sides. And that gives us X equals eight. These are the two possible solutions to this, but we need to check if anything's extraneous. X equals zero is a valid solution. The eight is also a valid solution. So our final answer is X equals zero or X equals eight. But look at this piece right here. Square root of 81 equals eight plus one. Let's put a box around that. Let's zoom in on that. Square root of 81 equals eight plus one. This is great. This is probably the only time this happens. I love it.